Greetings and salutations. My name is Amy, and I will be your host for this second episode of the podcast. I started on Facebook. You can see the first episode there. It is called The Lowdown on World of Warcraft. Tonight we'll be discussing a rather disturbing trend that has been going on in the game. It is called PvP on RP Realms. Now, as we all know, people go to the RP realms to RP with their friends and those of us that do enjoy the lore behind World of Warcraft. Unfortunately, on these realms, there has been a rather growing problem. There are some players that go into the RP realms with their guilds and sit on top of the bank in Ogomar and basically camp HKs off innocent horde players. This is not only a form of harassment, but it is very, very rude to be participating in such an activity in the first place. There is a guild, which is a prime example of such rude behavior, that is in the Thorian Brotherhood realm. They are members of the Order of Thako. The Order of Thako is a group of alliance jerks that find it funny to go into Ogomar, kill all of the NPCs, and basically attack any horde player, uh, no matter of level, that comes out of the battlegrounds, and they basically, they love ganking them. This guild has not only been reported by myself, but by several other horde players as well. If they love PvP so damn much, they need to move their characters to a PvP realm. If you like to RP and PvP, there are realms available for that too. But on RP realms such as this, this kind of behavior is not permitted. Such PvP and harassment is against Blizzard rules and regulations within the game. And yes, your guild will be getting shut down very soon because of all of the complaints that four players have been filing against you. We ask that you leave the PvP in Wintergrass and in the Battlegrounds. Battlegrounds and Wintergrass are a good place to PvP even on an RP server, but Horde cities are not. You do not see the Horde on the Thorian Brotherhood going into Stormwind, killing NPCs and attacking innocent alliance players. You do not see us going into Ironforge or Donastus or the Exodar and participating in such rude and illicit activities. The Horde come to this realm to get away from the PvP jerks, to get away from all of the crap, to get away from being ganked when they're trying to get their quest done. And we do not only not appreciate it when you come into our cities and pull crap like this on an RP realm, but you do not see us running around doing for the Horde because we prefer not to PvP. Yes, we do PvP in Wintergrass, and yes, we do PvP in the Battlegrounds like we're supposed to, but we do not participate in such rude and illicit activities such as PvP in other people's cities on an RP realm. RP realms are for those of us that enjoy the lore, that enjoy relaxing in our teams with our friends, and it is people like them that think it's funny to do this kind of crap that make innocent players like myself want to quit the game permanently and move to a free server where we can spend time with our friends. The Order of Thako should not be trusted at all. They should be ignored and they should be avoided at all costs. There are two Alliance players that are participating and following the trend that the Order of Thako has started on the Thorian Brotherhood. They go by the names of Voodoo and Blunt Brother. Blunt Brother is an armed warrior and Voodoo is a resto shaman. They were caught in Ogomar last night killing innocent NPCs and attacking innocent horde players such as myself and my warlock. Just because I'm a warlock does not make me easy to kill. Miss Voodoo has a horde level 71 orc rogue by the name of AEIC. Now the A and the E are kind of joined together, so it's hard to pronounce. This player should be put on your ignored list 
put on the blacklist, not invited to groups, and basically avoided at all costs. She is not only a spy for the Alliance, but she is a traitor to those of us that play on Horde. We have filed many, 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 many petitions to Blizzard to get them to stop these people from participating in this kind of rude and harassing behavior on the RP realms. I have noticed that the Dorian Brotherhood, of all the other RP realms I have visited, is the only one that seems to have a problem with the allure of the Alliance pulling this kind of crap. Well, other than the issue we've been having on RP realms with pe people completely ignoring and violating the rules of the realm, you should be able to expect the update patches for Cataclysm no later than the end of the month. Hopefully, we are hoping beyond hope that they will drop or group us, though at the moment we are unsure. I will keep you updated on new things to come with my podcast, The Lowdown on World of Warcraft. If you have any comments, concerns, complaints, or questions, please feel free to leave comments to this video. If you are a lion, I'm sorry, but if you are in the order of Thako, you guys suck. Leave the PvP in the battlegrounds where it belongs and stay out of our cities. This has been the second episode of the Lowdown on World of Warcraft. This is your host, Miss Amy, wishing you a very good evening. And to all the lovely, lovely Horde players out there, I say to you, Lotarnogar, strength and honor. Have a nice night.